Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today is the second of our Zombie City um, hobby blog or hobby diaries, whatever you want to call it. Um, and today I'm continuing on with my Ronnie Renton Walker. Um, and then I'm also going to show you where we're at so far at the end of the video with the walkers we've got painted so far. So all I'm doing here, um, obviously it's a very simple technique, I'm just painting. Um, but the colour in question is McCrag Blue, and I'm just painting his top, because Ronnie wears blue a lot, and if he doesn't, he does in my game. Um, so what I tend to do with these, full disclosure, is I tend to just paint them up normally, so I will paint like his hair, I've finished his hair, um, I've almost finished the skin, so I'll paint him up as if he was a normal model. Um, you know, all the same way I would if it was one of the hero characters, um, or villain characters, but an alive character, I mean. So I'll paint him up like that. Um, and then once he's finished, then I'll start to dirty the model up. So that's when I'll go, all right, well, he might need some blood here might need a bit of dirt there. Now the reason I do it like that is because that way if I finish him and I don't think he needs it, I don't have to add it. Um, whereas if I start trying to dirty it as I go, you get bits that don't look right, if that makes sense. So what I do, as I said, is I just paint him up. I paint him up as if he was a normal, normal model. And then once he's finished, I'll do the dirt mainly all together. Um, and that'll be a mix of some washes and some pigments and, you know, I try and keep them less realistic than I would with a lot of the stuff I paint. Obviously, I paint a lot of historical um, and with that, you're wanting your colours to look quite realistic. But this is a comic book. Um, I mean, if I was going to be totally accurate, I'd be painting them in black and white, wouldn't I? But um, I've seen a lot of people do that and it looks really good. But because I want to use the walkers for other things, um, one of which being Zombie City and Project Z, even though it's defunct, I uh, use them in Zombie Side, use them in, you know, varying other games. I've actually found a couple of the Mantic walkers that would work perfectly in Dracula's America as well. Because they're zombies, or walkers, depending on what you want to call them. They don't look strictly time period like that. He looks quite time periody. Um, and see, all I've done is I've given him a watered down base coat of McCrag, um, McCrag Blue, which is a Games Workshop paint. Um, and then I'll need to give him a second coat, obviously. Um, and then after that, I'll give it a blue wash, and then we'll pick it out. I'm going to go for like a grey for the trousers. Let's get, actually get him in camera. Would help. And once again, I am using those brushes that you may have seen in one of our uh, brush review videos. Um, we're on brush review three now, I think, actually. Um, maybe four. Just, I film a bunch of stuff at one time. Like, I filmed a couple of the brush reviews at the same time. Um, I filmed a couple of the other videos at the same time. With regards to the diaries, I am trying to keep them a week apart. Because, trust me, I've got many, many things to be painting in the meantime. Um, there's still a couple of days left on the um, Bot War Challenge videos. Um, I've got more Bot Wars models to paint outside of that. I've got some historical stuff to paint. I've got some more Strontium Dog and Judge Dread stuff to paint. So, I'm not sure of a thing or two to paint. But, yeah. So... This is Walker. As I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but I definitely mentioned it in one of the brush review videos because when I was doing his hair. Now, this model is an exclusive Kickstarter model. However, you can get it with Mantic points on the website, and I think he's 15 Mantic points, which isn't much really. I mean, I love the Mantic point system. Say what you will about Mantic. They give back to their customers. Um, you know, 
I also, and this is something, because I've been critical of Mantic's models in the past. Um, I've slagged them off. Um, I've said some quite harsh things at times. But Mantic have really stepped up the game in terms of their sculpting. If you've seen any of the new Vanguard stuff or, you know, the Walking Dead stuff, the Hellboy stuff, it all looks really, really nice. Um, and so I would, I'd like to take this time to just kind of, well, I wouldn't go as far as an apology. Um, but I, I will say that maybe in the past I have been more critical of Mantic than maybe they deserved. Some of their older models, like those elves, though. They're absolutely horrible. No offence, guys. So for the trousers, while I'm waiting for the top to dry, I'm just mixing up uh, some Mechanicus Standard Grey, which is one of the Games Workshop's base paints. Um, I still always water it down. Um, I feel you get better control over it. I'd much rather put a couple of coats on. Um, yeah, so. Probably watered this down a little too much, actually. Look at that. Um, but again, I'd much rather do a couple of thin coats than a big thick coat where I lose all the definition. Um, but yeah, as I said, towards the end of the video, we'll have a look where we're at so far compared to where we were last time. I mean, full disclosure, I've only got about 10 walkers painted compared to where we were at before. So we're not, you know, massively... You, well, you saw how many there was, 176, I think it was, and I've ordered some more since then. Shh, don't, don't tell the better half. Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, and I'm just picking this out. I was actually going to go for more of a chino-y design originally, and I was going to try and work within the confines of the bone that I used for the undercoat. Um... And I changed my mind at the last minute because I was, I, I if I'm testing something new, I like to test it on a crappy model. Um, I really like these Walking Dead models, so I don't want to ruin them and have to strip them or anything like that. So I was testing it out on just one of the cheaper uh, Warlords old zombies from the now defunct um, Project Z range, and I, in the end, I didn't like it. Now you'll notice I've left the collar. Um, I haven't done that blue and that's because I'm going to go I'd probably do like a creamy colour for it or a white colour or something like that uh, very Manchester City obviously that blue isn't that's too dark um, that's about the extent of my football knowledge these days is the colour of strips um, in fact I don't, I don't think football strips even have colours anymore do they um, but yeah I, I'm going to do that like a creamy colour and that's because if I decide to add some blood and stuff to it I think that will look really really good now what I'm going to do, because I'm super lazy, I'm going to stop the video now and I'm going to go and I'm going to hair dry this. I work with hair dryers a lot. You can pick up a cheap travel hair dryer for like four or five quid from Tesco, Argos, Sainsbury's. Um, yeah, any of those little stores. Asda sells them really cheap. Uh, it's a quick way of drying your models. Be very careful though, don't do it with the resin models because they'll gloop. Um, and you can find it does it with certain plastics. These seem fine. So I'm going to go give this a blast to dry it so I can get the second coat done while I've still got paint on the palette. I'll be back. So yeah, here we go. We're back. Um, that bump in the background was just my child nearly dying. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. He's okay. Good. <laughs> oh, I don't know about anybody else, but lockdown and parenting um, <laughs> makes you appreciate people who used to be stay-at-home mums, doesn't it? Um, or stay-at-home dads. Um, they exist. Obviously, they do. Um, but, you know, a time period when both parents didn't tend to work. Um, your 60s, 70s, maybe some of the 80s, actually. Um, you, you kind of... They, they were saints. <laughs> like, I love my children very, very much. They are my whole entire world. Um, but, my God, do you only realise how much hard work they are when you've got them seven days a week from the second they wake up? Until the second they go to bed. No school. <laughs> no, no nothing. Um, and the joys of being furloughed, I guess. Um, yeah, so at one point it looked like I might completely lose my job, uh, which didn't happen. Um, another point it looked like I was going to be able to work from home the whole time. Um, after a week or so, that couldn't happen because most of my job involves getting engineers to go into other humans' properties. 
you can see why why that wouldn't work given the current crisis. Um, so I was, I suppose, lucky enough that I would be furloughed, which means that, um, for those of you who don't know, it means I still have a job, and my company is still paying me somewhat, and then the government are paying the other eighty percent, which isn't ideal, and it's not what I'd like. Um, but yeah, it means that I can a get content done, which is uh, unusual for our channel. And B, uh, it means that once everything's back to normal, I'll have a job still, which a lot of people don't. Um, my heart goes out to those people. Um, none of this was anyone's fault, really, was it? Um, and we're all in this kind of situation together. So, yeah, well, it, things are a bit odd at the minute, as you can probably hear. We've got children, we've got Mario Maker 2 going on in the background. He's creating some levels for me to play later. He's an angel. Um, and then on top of that, we've got the washer. And we've got... Yeah, it's basically a house being a house. It, it, it's just running in the background as it would. And I'm kind of having to work around it because... Yeah. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to pick out the collar with Celestial Grey. I'm just going to mix up a little bit now on my palette. And by palette... I mean tile. Now I do have a wet palette and if I'm doing big projects or painting a lot of things I do bust it out but I don't use it for everything because I'm lazy. No, there's something really gratifying about just using a palette until meh, it, it's done and then sorry, using a tile until you're kind of done with it and then just hoiking it out. Do apologize. I just realised that I keep going out of frame. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, So yeah, we've got a bit more done on this walker. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you're probably going to end up seeing this fully painted up on Instagram before the video actually goes out. Um, all depending on when I am, when the video ends up going out. Now, we're trying to keep our content flowing, as you guys may have noticed, and part of that is because of, as I said, the furloughing thing. Um, and also just because we got quite sloppy and... Yeah... Um, without going into too much detail, I may make a video on the details of it at some point. But yeah, we we did get a little bit sort of behind the ball when it came to videos. And I am sorry about that. But we are trying to make up for it now, guys. Hopefully you'll like the varying types of content. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave him for today. I'm going to grab the walkers where we're at painted so far. And we can have a look at them. Um, yeah, bye. So here we have it, and yes, you can see my amazingly stripy socks because I'm like a toddler. But we've got 38 walkers painted up so far, or 38 zombies, depending on what you like to refer to them as. Um, now you can see these are a mixture. Um, we've got some Walking Dead All Out War, and we've got some Project Z ones so far. So some of the ones to note are guys like him. If you follow our Instagram, you'll have seen him popped up. Um, really, really big fan. He comes with the Glen set. Um, and there's this one, which I believe came in the solo um, campaign pack. Um, then we've got ones like this. This is one of my personal favourites. It's Project Z one. You're really going to struggle to find these now since the game's been discontinued. Um, I'm not going to show you them all, obviously. We've got my, my Punk. Um, and I'm a big fan of him. He's got the little nirvana -y bit there. He's got the... I like to imagine he was straight edge because I'm straight edge and 
you know, we like to see ourselves in media, don't we? We keep getting told representation's important. So I wanted to be represented by a walker. And there's this guy. I really love this one. Now, I believe he came in the starter set. But because I bought the Kickstarter, a lot of the models I've got could have come in one of the other sets that you get with the Kickstarter. So quite often I will say, oh, this this from the Kickstarter. And someone will go, actually, Kevin, good say it's not. So yeah, so you see I've got this model twice and I've tried to separate them off. But yeah, so you can see where we're at so far. Um, 38 down. Um, so what, 38 down, one paint and another five sat on the table ready to go. A lot still remaining. So yeah, next time, um, hopefully I'll have had the Ronnie miniature finished and I'll have started on the other five. And you guys can get to look at that. I'm mainly trying to get the Mandic ones done first. Because they, realistically, they're the most dynamic. Um, th there's so much more detail. They're slightly bigger. Um, but I think it adds for a nice little touch. Like Things like her. She's, she's very dainty, very frail. I like that. Um, and it contrasts quite nicely with, as I said, the big, bigger ones. Like the, the Mantic ones. Um, but yeah, I think they've each got some nice little touches. There's some bits I like, there's some bits I don't like. Um, I'm trying to give them character. I realise I've got multiples of the same one, so I'm, I'm trying to spruce them up. But anyway, guys, this is the second part of our Zombie City um, video, diary, slash blog, slash vlog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the next video, while well, I'm showing you up and we're doing a bit of painting not showing you up as i'm showing you where we're up to and getting a bit of painting done uh what we'll also do is i'll run through a few of the little rules uh for the zombie city big game that we're going to be doing um i can let you know i've ordered a load of sprays from amazon so that i can get the models uh sorry the buildings sprayed um i'm using some decals that i got some with the Judge Dread game and some that I just found online to add some graffiti and things like that to the buildings. I want them to feel like, yes, they're still lived in, but maybe only recently abandoned town. The vibe I'm going for is I don't want them to look completely derelict like the formed bits. Um, but at the same time, what I don't want um, is them to look brand spanking new. I want that nice little crossover so I can use them in other games, but so they are very walking dead. But yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this so far. I know we're getting a lot more painting style videos on the channel and that's purely because we can't play a lot of games really unless it's over Skype or Roll uh, D20 or whatever it's called and or Vassal or one of those others or um, Tabletop Simulator on Steam. And, and obviously that's not kind of an area we cover. It might get to an area that we have to cover out of necessity but as things stand we're leaving things as they are. I will try and get some solo play stuff up on the channel. And maybe by the time this video goes up, I'll have already got some solo play. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it like that. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, it's the first time you've ever checked out our channel. Go see some of our other videos. We do cover The Walking Dead quite extensively. We've got hours and hours of gameplays and how to plays and things like that. So check them out. Um, check out some of our vlogs. If you are into your RPGs, we've got a new series that runs every Wednesday, which is called Vince Reviews, where he looks at um, RPGs, usually in PDF form, so you can see it on the screen and things like that. We've got Paint with Nate that goes up on Saturdays. Now Nate's got a new camera, hopefully. That should be back every Saturday. Um, we're going to try and keep the content coming for you. But honestly... Give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you like what we do, let us know in the comments. If there's something you specifically want to see, let us know. And if you give us a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine. I understand not everyone's content's for everyone. But if you are going to give us a thumbs down, let us know why you gave us a thumbs down. We can't improve and change our content if you don't let us know what it is you didn't like about it in the first place. So if you're going to give us a thumbs down and it's just because you think we're dickheads, fair play. Just let us know we're dickheads. As long as the language isn't too like vile, I'm not, I'm gonna let it stay up there. We only take out really bad, and we get very few. Um, but if you've got a genuine criticism that you think, oh, there's a biker guy while we're chatting. But yeah, if there's a genuine criticism you think actually this is something I do not like, uh, could you fix it? 
Um, maybe it's the audio, maybe it's the fact that I can't keep a bloody model in um, focus. Let us know and we'll work on it. But yeah, as you can hear, my wash is finished, so I'm going to hang some washing out. <laughs> I know, rock and roll. As I always say, pretty dice, guys, know the smile upon you and take care. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye and stay safe.